today we are going to be talking about the Burger Smokehouse Carver ham. This is a very unique ham yes. in the family of beautiful things that Burger Smokehouse produces. I'm standing here with Steven Burger, third generation from Burger Smokehouse in California, Missouri. I'm Kat Neville. I'm the publisher of Feast Magazine. What's interesting about this ham is that it actually doesn't have the bone. Now that's true, it's, it's a whole muscle ham, so it's gonna have a lot of the same characteristics as a bone-in ham, but the convenience of a boneless. And you're using applewood smoke on this one, not the hickory that you find on a lot of your other products. You bet, uh, applewood smoke is a very popular smoke now, and so we're adding that to our line of smoked meats. And I think what I like about this too, is that it's a smaller piece of meat. This ham is designed to feed easily 10 to 15 people as families and groups of gatherings have gotten smaller. The, the, the need for a smaller ham has come about and that's what this ham is designed to do. I'm assuming this is also pretty easy to prepare. What do you do to heat it up? Very easy. Of course it's fully cooked now mm -hmm. and you can see that beautiful smoke on it. It's, uh, it's ready to just really uh, carve and serve uh, as it is. Well the first thing we'll do is grab some foil. Wrapping tightly in foil is very important to hold the juices in, in, inside the ham as it's heating. Uh, set this temperature at about 350 degrees, and uh, it'll take about an hour to heat this up, but to be sure that you got it just to the right temperature, we recommend using a meat thermometer and heating to 140 degrees. But again, it's fully cooked. Fully cooked. So if it doesn't get all the way up to 140, it's better to keep it lower than to go higher right. because you want that juiciness to stay. Right. You don't want to over, you know, dry out the ham. Absolutely. Now while this can go directly on the rack in the oven, if you're afraid that you didn't get all of your edges perfectly crimped on your tin foil, you can also just put it in the Pyrex dish. I think we're just gonna stick it straight in the oven. Let's though. just do that. Alrighty, Kat, this is ready to come out of the oven. Now I notice we have the honey glaze. These come with the carver hams as well? Absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. It's all natural and uh, perfect complement to the ham. Anything sweet is gonna go beautifully with you a bet. smoky, salty ham. Let's uh, put a little glaze on. All right, let's do that. It's really easy. You just pop it in the microwave, right? You bet. All righty, our glaze is warm and ready to drizzle over the ham. And because this is not pre-sliced, you can make the slices any size, shape, anything that you really want. Exactly. I like mine a little thicker, so I'll, I'll cut it about a, a quarter to a half inch thick. Give that a try, Ken. Oh, I will. Cut through the middle of this and show you exactly what that is. That is so rich and flavorful, and the sweet glaze on it, mm -hmm. it just, just tops it off, right? all of the flavors. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. Thank you very much.